All is Bunny, and we're back. Uh, color at Color Rule, and we're doing the Mysterious Forest. Um, in Romantic Country Three. So I finished the trees, as you can see. I left a little bit here, and that's just gonna be done with the light umber. I think you all get that part of the um the coloring so we're going to work on the sky i'm going to show you how i did the grass down here <clears throat> actually you know what let's work on the kids no we're working on the sky i just want to i'll show you all how i did that and then we'll go work on the kids so This is ultramarine. We got three colors going on. I might add a fourth color just to see if I can add some lightness to some areas. Yeah. So I want a randomness of light and dark okay and we're just going to randomly put in color well I don't, I don't think I'm going to leave a true blue out we'll just work with the three so our three colors is uh, ultramarine 902 violet blue 933 and indigo blue 901 so, you go base coat with the ultramarine, okay? And then, we use our, well, not even a base coat, because the base coat was the first thing we did when we first colored in the picture. Uh -oh. Went into that pumpkin a little bit. Okay, and then we take the indigo and just add some dark spots wherever you want to have the dark spots. Actually, we have four colors. I did that right there to show you how I want it to look. There's four colors. There's also black that I'm about to get. So, I'm going to go back with my ultramarine. And this is no I want the I, I want the darkest color is is the um the indigo and then the next one is the violet blue. So the only rhyme or reason to this is that wherever the indigo is, the violet blue is on the edge of it. Other than that, I don't have any preset um locations for these colors and so i just pick a section and i work on that until i get it where i want the way i want it and then i move to uh, make another section like this will be a section this here will be a section and i'll work like that Okay, and then take black and right in the middle of the indigo, I'll make a black splotch. And then I'll go over it, the indigo and the black with the indigo again to blend out that black a little bit. 
and I'm not worried about going into the violet blue if I do I do if I don't I don't and then we just keep alternating the colors and that's how we're going to get the look of our sky That's indigo, so violet blue will surround, surround the indigo. And then I use the ultramarine. And the ultramarine really doesn't make that big of a difference because it's not that much lighter. I really could just use the... the the two colors which is probably what I end up doing okay but you if it makes a difference for you you can keep doing it the way uh, with the ultramarine but it really doesn't make it's not that light of a color to make that much difference Okay, so then I'll move on to say, let me do this here. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat is a little, a little uh, scratchy. <laughs> Excuse me. I don't know why my camera light didn't come on. So I have my ultramarine. I'm going to keep using it since I already started using it. Then I'm going to go in with my indigo. And let's put it right here. My indigo. And I'm going to take my black. <clears throat> and want my black to go maybe on the outside edge of this. Because I'm going to keep, um, even though the tree is pretty much done, I'm probably going to darken it up in some areas just to create more shadows. You all know I can work on a picture to death. <clears throat> so, now we're going to use our violet blue. And then, I'll go back to my ultramarine. And just... Finish that out. So the black doesn't have to go right in the middle of the um, indigo blue. It can go on the edges, it can go in the middle, it can surround it. The logical choice would be in the middle, but I didn't want the black right here because I'm probably going to put black right there um, to add more shading in this. I'll show you all what I mean, what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to add black to the inside of these limbs and branches to add a little more depth to it and then blend that out with the dark brown like 
like that. And it, it makes a bit of a difference to me. Back in here. Like that. Okay, so let's work on up in here. And we're gonna get the area done. Okay, so that's our sky. <coughs> I wanna move on to the kids, that's why. I decided since um I made this blue, I can't make the, any of the clothes blue so we're going to do green and red and so we're going to take um, olive green I think will be well no we'll do you know uh, let's just make them both in red Let's do, we'll do Tuscan red. Let me check my, okay, so, um, Tuscan red, we're gonna go Over the entire cloak, lightly. Anybody have any costume or Halloween parties going on? Looking forward to. <clears throat> and maybe some down here. I know clubs do them. I don't want to make them the same color. I really don't. But I like. Oh, wait. <laughs> purple. I knew there was something missing from this picture. You always gotta have some purple in my pictures. Okay, now, <clears throat> we got that in, so then, I want to add some black,
Okay, I'm back. So I went over the entire thing with a little bit of black. Alright. Then we're gonna tape violet, which is nine three two. And just add more color. And I put um, the tester red here and on the pants. And then over here, I put the violet on the collar and the pants. And then we'll just choose random colors for the patches. And then our kitty pumpkin will just keep regular old. Um, we won't do the shading effect, obviously, because it doesn't have any. But we will put shading on it just because it's going to be, it's, um, it's nighttime. So it's going to, it would have shadows on it, but it won't look like the pumpkins that are on the ground. Okay, so then I'm going to go back again. all over so I'm gonna leave this light I'm gonna probably leave that alone <clears throat> and maybe this shoulder here alone like that We're going to go into these pants as well. And add a nice shadow right under this cloak. That's how our page is looking. Okay. He goes back again with that violet. And then, because you all know I can, like I said, make a picture go on forever. <laughs> We're going to add um, a Prima Violet. Um, one zero zero eight right up in our top most highlights. This is why my pictures have so many parts to it, y'all. And I know most of y'all don't like all these parts. But I can't help it. And then, like that. 
So then I'm going to do the same thing with the red. So go in. Okay, and then I'm on camera. Okay, I'm in gray. So then, make sure we put that shadow. And that's basically how we're going to do this kids um, sheet, cloak, whatever you want to call it. It's back and forth alternating these colors until we get it. How we want it to be. Okay, so, and then for the red, let's see what I have, I think I have a crimson, yes, I have a crimson red, let's go, that'll be our top highlight. Okay, like that. And I like that. So that's how that's gonna work out. So we got this the do you see how we're gonna do the cloak and that the pumpkins are gonna the heads are gonna be done like the pumpkins. <clears throat> but I will show you one more time. This here was black. We take our sienna brown, go into the black, smudge out some of that black with that sienna brown on the edges. So that's hidden that way. It has cooled down. So the birds are happy. I can just hear them chirping, chirping, chirping away. I call my backyard Snow White's yard because I have a chipmunk, a squirrel, a little guard bird. We we'll call it the guard bird because he'll come and sit right next to you and you can look out the, uh, the window and he'll be on the patio looking out like he's guarding the joint. <laughs> and then we have a bunny and a couple of cats that come and just chill out in the yard. And um, 
they don't really run away. And uh, throw, sometimes we throw bread out for the birds. And they'll eat it, and then they'll leave a little bit, and the squirrel will come out. He'll be watching, and he'll let them get theirs. And then he'll come out and get his. And it's funny, it's just so funny to watch them um, because it gets so hot down here. And so he'll go get his and <laughs> run into the shade and eat it. It's so funny to see. Give me a drink real quick, y'all. Okay, so that was our Sienna Brown. So then we just get plain old orange, which is 918. And we go over the Sienna Brown. And a little bit into the highlight, but not too much. Just so that it's not a sharp uh, contrast of color from the sienna brown orange combination to our yellow orange. So we go into the highlight just a little bit. Just so that now it, it transitions from orange to yellow to orange and not from the combo. So let's see, go in just a little bit. Right on that edge of the highlight. Okay, and then we take our yellowed orange and do our highlight. That'll end up being kind of a green, but whatever. I went over the line, I'm not worried about it. On the line with that blue, I could erase it, but I don't feel like it. And that's it. And then you just go back in a little bit with that orange. Our pumpkin heads. Inside, I missed the spot for that Spanish orange. And if you all don't remember, Spanish orange here and here, and then the lightest spot is um, canary yellow.
Well, this is basically how a picture is going to look. So about at this point now layering in the colors Sorry, y'all. Shaking the tripod there. Okay, so then our stem is our green. And then we take some light umber, make the stem look a little dirty. And then olive green again to blend out that black. Okay. So now are we looking for time? 34 minutes. Something's out of place. Oh, okay. Um, what are we gonna do now? Oh, let's get this pumpkin in here. And since it's a fake pumpkin, we're just going to do plain old canary yellow. of the grass right in here is um, grass green so now this is olive okay so I just went over like that with the olive Then with dark green, go and create a shadow with our dark green. And we blue lightly, we could do light over 
to um, green just to bring a little depth of color, but just lightly. And then the shadow. Mm -mm. Just went over that thing on good. Ain't gonna have much of a shadow because it's nighttime. For the regular grass, we'll just alternate between the green and the olive green. So we get a nice looking grass. to alternate with the grass green with the dark green what happens if we That's our grass. I think it looks pretty good. And that's basically how we're going to do this picture right there. So let's show you all how we did that. Again, black. I'm going to go over the whole thing. The light color. We're going to take our Sierra brown and <sighs> Okay, y'all, I'm sorry about all the random um transitions you all are seeing um it's what happens when you're not home alone and you have to keep uh cutting off the camera letting people do what they have to do and then cut back on so it seems like it's going to be a busy day. Uh, and I'm also not in my regular area. In my area, I have to set up my art space. Um, so I'm actually in the kitchen. In the kitchen, so I'm going to stop the video here. And, um work on this a little bit off camera but you all see where it's going so I think um it should be all right but let me show you all real quick before I go how I do these candles so I take the poppy red I go that line okay 
Then I take um, Spanish orange and I go over that. And then the rest is just canary yellow to finish out that flame. And then lightly canary yellow to illuminate that white spot we left and bring it a little bit up into that blue. is that and so let's bring it down we're gonna do canary yellow around the moon canary yellow in the moon I'm gonna darken it up on the Spanish orange Just randomly select different spots. I'm going to take that golden rod and get those little craters. Maybe a little. yellowed orange a splash through take some white I'll leave some areas a little white Take cream. Cream is real good. Uh, I found for blending out colors, especially yellow. And I just want to mellow everything together. Trying to avoid places where I didn't put any color. Okay. Then take my light again. I think that's pretty good. We can't really wipe out this line other than with a what's the name pencil? The uh, uh, gel pen, white gel pen, but that'll work for now. So that's our our moon. Okay. Now that we just darted the edges and we treat the black um the bat like we did the the kids um costume where we just fade up the color. Okay. That's how that back will look. Yeah. I 
right? 